not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For 109 years, I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt for what happened to your life. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. G'day and kia ora. this is the Anzac Gamer, also known as Angel885, and welcome back to the Anzac Gaming Channel. Today's video is being the first Friday of the month, which if you had seen the Loom Retro Showcase from last month, would know that today is Retro Showcase Day. So, first Friday of the month, Retro Showcase Day. This one I've actually been quite looking forward to, because it's a game that is very... <laughs> it's... I... The game is really, really rich in its kind of story elements. It's, um, it, yeah, it's it's a weird one, and I like weird. I like weird. It's it, I don't know why, but I just like weird and and you know, kind of strange games. And this game is a, a psychodrama thriller thing. It, it really messes with. Uh, touches on things that you know most games don't even really touch on these days except in crudeness um so yeah so a little bit of background of this game which is actually called i have no mouth and i must scream it is based on a short story uh written by harlan ellison and is a, a very dark game indeed um, the story takes place 109 years after the complete destruction of human civilization. Basically, the Cold War turned hot, and a war broke out between China, Russia, and the United... It was World War, and it broke out mainly fought by Russia, China, and the US. When the, As the war went on, they decided that, they, that to each create a supercomputer capable of running the war more efficiently than they could. Uh, the machines were each referred to as AM or Allied Master Computer, and then was later called Adaptive Manipulator, and finally, Aggressive Menace. One day, one of the three computers becomes self-aware. And when you play the game, here's some spoilers, we think it's the US computer that becomes self-aware, because why not? Um, and it very quickly absorbs the other two and takes control of the entire war, carries out campaigns of mass genocide and killing off pretty much everyone except for four men and a lady. So, you know, the survivors live together underground in an endless complex, the only habitable place left. The master computer, known as M, which comes from, I think, therefore I am, harbors an immeasurable hatred for them and spends every conceivable moment torturing them endlessly. And has not only managed to keep them from killing themselves, <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, pretty deep shit, but has also made them virtually immortal. And there is further to the story, but I'll let that dis you guys discover that for yourself. I'll, um hopefully be able to post some sort of a link down below so you can actually go and find the short story for yourself um so but now on to the game so the game is a point and click adventure it was developed by the dreamers guild co-designed by harlan ellison himself and published by cyber dreams it was re released to DOS and Mac OS on October 31st, 1985. Ooh, Halloween. Uh, very appropriate for the game itself, actually. Uh, and re-released to Windows on September 5th, 1990. Uh, September 5th, 2013. Mac OS 10 Linux on October 17th, 2013. iOS and Android on January 14th, 2016. It was built on the Saga engine and uses SVGA graphics. The future releases of the game were actually published by Acclaim, Night Dive, and .emu. It currently has a Metacritic score of 
3.5 star on iOS and Android, 4.4 on GOG, and 9 on Steam. The game, as I mentioned, is very dark in its storytelling. You play as the five protagonists of the six characters, or six main characters, Am and uh, Gorista, which is the character I'm playing now, Benny, Nimdok, Alan, and Ted. So they have been, as I mentioned before, kept alive by this evil computer called Am. The five people have been tortured for the last 109 years by them, and each of the five have a fatal flaw in their character. Am creates a metaphorical adventure that targets each of these flaws and implants in the story ethical dilemmas dealing with rape, insanity, paranoia, and genocide. Ooh, just gives me chills. Um, the differences, so there are some different. There's actually quite a, a couple of major differences between the uh, characters out of the story, out of the actual short story, versus the characters that you play in the game. Uh, one of the, one of the big ones and the main ones is um, Benny. Now, in the story, in the short story, Benny is actually a brilliant, handsome scientist and has been mutilated and transformed so that he resembles a grotesque, simian creature with a gigantic dick. <laughs> he also, at some point, lost his, ins his sanity and is completely turn into a child regressed into a childlike temperament and not only that he was actually gay Benny is actually gay in the short story but has been altered to now regularly want sex with Alan the only female and Alan was once or has claimed to being chaste very demure and not, you know, uh, what we would refer today as a slut. Um, but I mean, that's pretty bad actually. You know, just not a lady after the carnal pleasures of the body as it were. But Am has also altered her mind so that she becomes desperate for sex. And because of that, the others at different times both protect her and abuse her and according to Ted one of the other characters she finds pleasure in sex only with Benny because of his large Dom so you know also in the story Alan is the only one that is described as having ebony uh, actually having any kind of ethnicity and radical racial identity actually mentioned in the story now, in the actual game, obviously, Benny is not this. Benny is actually completely different from the story, and same with Alan, um, because of, I'm guessing, the intertwinings of the two. But anyway, um, Benny was kind of altered in his description in that he still has that ape it's like you know he's simian um appearance but his past has changed he is no longer gay he's not a scientist he doesn't have a big dick he doesn't have this desire to have sex with alan all the time and stuff like that um the what he became was an overly demanding military officer who ends up killing members of his units for failing to meet his expectations and the game actually implies that he may have even cannibalized them so you know pretty it's still pretty nuts but it's not as i don't know it seems to be a little bit not a thing but you know and alan has to deal with um uh, being raped so there's that um, we've got Nimdok who's an ex-Nazi physician we have Gorista who's um, suicidal to 
due to the guilt of having had his wife committed to a mental institution, Ted is uh, pretty much left alone as it is in the the novel, but um, the thing that he deals with is he's, he's a con man and he's got all the neuroses and paranoia that goes with that. So, yeah. The, I highly recommend the game if you're really into these sort of uh, psychological thriller, drama -y type of games. The game was actually well put to, together. The um, I haven't come across any, any real issues with it in the re-release. Um, it is a fantastic game. You can pick it up on Steam at the moment for five ninety nine. Uh, in its sort of remaster, and when I say remaster, it's sort of a, it's been fixed up so that it runs on modern equipment. Um, but yeah, so highly recommend checking it out. It is actually a very good game. So yeah, I've been the Anzac Gamer, also known as Angel Eight Eighty Five. If you like the video, obviously buy that like button a beer, and I know a lot of people are getting tired of people. Other YouTubers, no, oh, why are you fishing for likes? Well, this is how we actually have to survive. Anyway, if you didn't like this video, punch that dislike button in the head. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, obviously, to keep up with the shenanigans that I bring out every week. And in a previous video, um, I, in one of my, my having a yarn video, I do mention that I am looking at increasing the content coming. And if you would, I'd really appreciate it if you think you've got other people that you know that would actually enjoy this video and enjoy seeing this game. Don't forget to share the video with them. And I'll catch you all, go, all of yous next week. Filthy, like the. Everything's coated with grime. You've seen better days. So has the big machine for that matter.